Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So today we're gonna to take a look at converting different models over to the ONNX format. And specifically, I've had multiple questions about how do I grab a model from, say, Civitai and convert it over to ONNX. That way I can use Stable Diffusion on my AMD GPU running ONNX, DirectML, and be able to use different models besides ones that are just maybe available from Hugging Face or ones that were only in the ONNX format. So let's take a look. For anybody who is looking at converting models, you may start to think about doing things like running Optimum CLI from Hugging Face themselves. This is a mistake. You might be thinking about, oh, I found this, and it's specifically talking about converting models to ONNX. Nope, it's broken, don't bother. You might also see something called ONNX-Web from SSUBE. Nope. I couldn't get that one to work either. All of these are a huge mistake and a giant waste of time. So let's just do it with what we already have. Shocker, it's all you actually need. So in order to go ahead and show people how to get models from Civitai as well as go ahead and optimize them with ONNX. I There's this model called Elegant Entropy. I don't know, I've never seen it before, but it looks pretty good. So we'll take a look and we'll, we'll download this model and then I'll, I'll show folks how to optimize it as soon as it's done downloading. Once you get your models downloaded, open up a folder and go to your Stable Diffusion Web UI Direct ML. Go into the Models folder and then go into Stable Diffusion. And from there, whatever file you copied, just put it right into there. And you'll see there's my Elegant Entropy v14.safe tensors file. Once your file is in the correct place, we're going to go out of there and we're going to open up our Stable Diffusion. Inside of Stable Diffusion here, you'll see that I literally just reloaded it. We're going to go straight over to the Olive tab. And from Olive, we're going to go to this Optimize Checkpoint. And from there, we are going to copy the exact name of the file and it is a dot safe tensors and then we are going to just copy the name in again we are not going to touch anything else and go ahead and hit optimize this process takes quite a while as well as folks should know that it takes a lot of hard drive space temporarily. It could take anywhere from 20 to 30 gigabytes of hard drive space while it is optimizing. It also takes a metric ton of RAM. So you may need to ensure that you don't have a ton of things going on so that you have RAM free. Those along with, it will eat your CPU. There are times where your CPU will be pegging out near 100 or at 100. So again, it is to your benefit to make sure that you have as much RAM clear as you possibly can. Make sure you have a lot of hard drive space free so that it has room to expand and, and rewrite and optimize however it wants, as well as do not have a ton of stuff running on your CPU at the same time if you can help it, because any of these problems could cause the optimization to fail. The optimization takes about 10 minutes, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. But for those 10 minutes, just try to keep everything as free as you can. Just get up and walk away. That's, that's what I tend to do. 
while it is optimizing, I constantly end up hearing this in, in comments. There is no GPU for ONNX runtime to do optimization. Even though this presents as an error, it is okay. The optimizer is actually using your CPU. It's not using a GPU anyway. So you'll see this error. It's not a big deal. Just continue to sit and wait and be patient. Once you come back after a while, you will hopefully see something that says optimization complete. And you'll see down here in stable diffusion, optimization complete. It took three minutes and 28 seconds. That seems like a lie. It seems like it took longer. But now inside of here, we have elegant entropy optimized. Let's go over to here and we'll type out a prompt. And with your new checkpoint all optimized and ready, you should now be able to use it from the dropdown. I will say that if you take a look, this person, it's going to be difficult to tell from YouTube since it kind of thrashes all the video, but this person looks reasonably clear, reasonably clean. The image looks non-distorted, not overly grainy or anything like that. If we generate with Dream Shaper, we see a fairly similar thing. The image looks reasonably fine. There's some colors, nothing is overly grainy. You know, reds come out. It doesn't look washed out. But then if I go over to this one that I just literally optimized, this Elegant Entropy V14, and hit Generate. You'll notice suddenly it looks grainy, a little bit dotty. Looks like there's a lot of dots and it looks washed out. The, the red hair color is much less clear. It's much, much more washed out and uh, just kind of faded looking. I don't know why, but I did notice that this Elegant Entropy V14, seemingly no matter what I do, it always gives washed out images. Uh, change samplers, change steps, change CFG scale, doesn't really matter. So I will say that while you should be able to get just about any model that you want doing this, including many, many, many models from Civitai, just be aware that if you start getting washed out look, my assumption is that there is something in the ONNX optimization that just isn't always 100%. I did grab this Animerge V24 from Civitai. And these images look entirely fine. So your mileage may vary. Good luck though. I hope this has helped some folks. I have gotten quite a few questions about loading models specifically from Civitai onto ONNX. And this should get you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my videos, home labbers and engineers. I create and edit all of these videos on my own, so any likes and subscribes will massively help out the channel and allow me to continue creating content to help people. If you got value out of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to be notified when new content drops. If there's something I've not covered but you would like to see a video on it, please leave a comment down below. And again, a massive thank you to everyone. I hope you have a great day.